of this stuff right in the middle. Let it flow in there, cover up that negative connection. And then I just let it flow around this inside ring covering all the other positive solder lump connections. Where that positive solder lump is attached to the spring, let that be exposed. Let there be a little trough because you're going to be connecting some wires to that later. Don't worry if a little bit of JB Weld gets on some of the outside negative connections. As long as you have some exposed to attach wires to, you'll be fine. This JB Weld is also going to keep your spring attached to the circuit board. You just kind of slather it on there. Now I'll zoom in so you can see what I've done. I've still got my positive connection right there attached to the spring. All the other positive connections on the, around the outside are covered with JB Weld. That one that's right in the middle is covered so it can't come in contact with anything. There's a little opening right there leading to that positive connection that's attached to the, to the spring. At the same time, don't drop your regulator into the JB Weld. At the same time, I slather a little bit of JB Weld around these wires. That way when you're working with this thing and you're putting it together in a minute, uh, it's going to be real strong and uh, you're not going to be able to twist and break the connections. So I put it in between the wires. I just slather it all the way around there. Don't put too much because you don't want this thing to get too big. But that's the way it's going to look. And I'll do the same thing with my switch while I'm at it. I will slather it on right around where I put those two wires connected to my switch. Makes everything nice and strong. I told somebody the other day you could probably throw this thing out the window and it would still work. That is true. To the best of my knowledge anyway. So there's your three pieces covered in JB Weld. See that? The switch, the circuit board, and the and the uh, regulator. Okay, I'm going to let these dry and uh, I'll be back in a little while. All right, I'm back. Um, now I got my uh, circuit board covered with the uh, JB Weld. I got my regulator. I got the wires connected to it and JB welded. And I got my switch with the wires connected and uh, the JB Weld. Now, if you didn't want any LEDs, that's all you need, and you start putting the circuit board uh, together. But I'm gonna have uh, just like on this one. I'm going to have two LEDs. I'm going to have a red one for the power on off. Power on, power off. That's controlled by the end cap uh, power lockout switch I call it. And then I'm going to have a green one for the uh, atomizer being powered. The difference is I'm going to use a flashing green one right here. They're both Lin rows. And if you look at them, um, if you look closely right here, it says 12 VF, that's 12 volt forward. This flasher is also 12 volt forward, which uh, I think it means uh, basically you can put up to 12 volts through it without it hurting it. <laughs> I 
few things to note about these uh, these LEDs. Um, if you look at the two, if you look at the two wires coming off of them, one is slightly longer than the other one. The one that's slightly longer is positive, and the one that's slightly shorter is negative. So um, now I'm going to solder uh, my my wires onto these, and I'll zoom in close again. So everybody could see what I'm doing. Um, like I said, one's short and one's long. You see how one is slightly longer than the other one? The long one, maybe you could see it this way. The long one is positive. One that's slightly longer is positive. So what I normally do is I will take the short one and I will clip it nice and short first and then I will take the next one and clip it slightly longer so I remember that the long one is positive. <clears throat> The, uh, the small red one is a, um, what is it, well I don't know, it's, maybe it's five millimeters, no the big green one's five millimeters and the small red one is three millimeters, and these are propriety negative and positive so make sure you put your green wires on the negative side and your red wires attach them to the positive side no. I always make these wires a little bit longer than they probably need to be that's because when I start putting this whole thing together it's going to uh, it's going to be easier to manipulate it and get them where I want. Sometimes you have to bend it around. If you look at this one that's already made, you can see uh, the connector is here, the LEDs are there, and my button is over here. So once you get everything put together on this circuit board, you'll uh, you'll you'll notice what you do. Get them in the right way. Oh, better plug my soldering iron back. Took a few hours break, and now I'm back. Make sure the sponge is nice and wet, nice and damp. Okay, I'm going to pause while the soldering iron heats up. Okay, just like before, make sure your soldering iron is nice and hot, and you want to keep the uh, tip tinned, which means it has a little bit of solder on it. The green, the green wire going to the negative lead on the LED <clears throat> and the red wire is going to the positive lead I like to bend a little hook in them then I put them around the, the lead on the LED and then I crimp it slightly with my pliers I'll crimp it slightly with the pliers just so it hangs on there while I'm soldering it.